Medical Laboratory Scientist Interview Questions and Answers In this video, we will take a look at questions you should expect in a medical laboratory interview and how you can answer them effectively. These questions will be centered on your knowledge and skills about laboratory science and most especially your ability to perform medical lab tests at the required standard. Ultimately, your answers must look to convince the interviewer of your ability to do the job and how you are the right fit from a work culture perspective. This is exactly what this video helps you achieve. Let's get into it. 1. Tell us what motivated you to become a medical laboratory scientist and why this facility is the right place for you at this point in your career. Your interviewer will ask this question to understand your passion for the field and your long-term commitment to the job. It also gives an indication of how dedicated you will be in terms of performing the requirements of the role and improving career-wise. Note that the rationale for this question is to get you comfortable in order to help you start the interview on a strong foot. And so it is important to ensure you come out as enthusiastic and positive as possible. Conclude your answer by highlighting why the facility you are interviewing at will help you develop and contribute effectively to the field. Here's an example answer. I have always had the long-standing aspiration of pursuing a career as a medical laboratory scientist and this has largely had to do with how fascinated I am about the complexities and intricacies of medical laboratory science. I am motivated by the idea of playing a critical role as a healthcare provider through the provision of accurate and reliable medical tests. This motivation has existed throughout my educational and professional background, especially as I've come to realize firsthand the importance of medical laboratory scientists in patient care. My aim is to continue making a difference in the lives of patients through my delivery of accurate, reliable, and timely diagnostic results. I believe that this company provides the best environment in terms of facilities and work culture to help me thrive and continue improving. Two, tell us more about the kind of substances you have experienced testing. The primary role of medical laboratory scientists is to test samples and to inform doctors of the results. And so this question looks to directly assess your level of expertise in performing lab test screenings and diagnostics. In answering it, you should highlight the key details that demonstrate your ability to undertake various lab tests efficiently. Example answer. My experience as a medical laboratory scientist is as extensive as it gets. I have tested and analyzed biological samples that include urine, tissues, and blood. My range of expertise covers urinalysis, microbial organism assessments, and taking blood samples for transfusion. I have also done a lot of blood screening that checks for drug content and chemical reactions. My previous role required me to specialize in cytogenetic testing and that specifically involved performing chromosome analysis to identify possible genetic anomalies. That experience provided me with strong practical and foundational knowledge about molecular biology and genetic testing in general. Overall, I do see that my general experience as medical laboratory scientist have given me the analytical and problem-solving skills I need to effectively test any substance and I look forward to further developing these skills here. 3. Describe how you ensure that your laboratory testing procedures are always accurate and precise. As a medical laboratory scientist, the level of accuracy and precision of your testing procedures is how you can guarantee the reliability of your test results. This is why this question is important in assessing your general approach to maintaining quality standards. Describe the methodology you use to ensure quality results and the standards you follow while doing so. Example answer. I am fully aware of the fact that the quality of my work is defined by how accurate and precise my results are. And to ensure this, I make sure I strictly adhere to the established standards. I also meticulously follow protocols and implement the necessary quality assurance measures as well. I specifically review and follow the standard operating procedures for every test to ensure all relevant procedures have been executed properly. I then certify the test results by conducting repeat testing and comparative analysis to be sure of its accuracy and reliability. Generally, I also keep detailed records of my tests and make sure instruments are properly maintained at all times. This greatly contributes to transparency and accountability overall, and they are also key parts of ensuring test quality. 4. Walk us through your process of handling and analyzing blood samples. This question gives your interviewer an idea of your general approach to work and how you will handle general responsibilities in the facility. Detail the processes you take to handle samples, analyze them, and then communicate the result to other professionals. Keep your answer as simple and precise as possible. Example answer. 
The first thing I do when handling and analyzing blood samples is to ensure that all the safety protocols are in place and to make it a priority to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment at all times. In terms of handling the samples themselves, I first apply the aseptic technique to make sure the blood is not contaminated. After I have collected the sample, I label it and then store it in the appropriate place according to protocol. In preparing for the analysis, I centrifuge the sample in order to separate the components and then perform the necessary tests on each of the components. The last thing I do is to then do a comprehensive analysis of the results and provide the appropriate conclusions. But the important thing here is that I'm equally adept at analyzing using manual and automated techniques. So I am confident I will be comfortable enough with the approach this facility allows. 5. What are the testing equipment you are most familiar with? Apart from assessing your familiarity with common testing equipment, interviewers will ask this question to certify your proficiency with other important in-house tools. Your answer will generally also reflect the knowledge of the job and how experienced you are with using relevant testing tools. Conclude by stating how you stay current with technological advancements in the field in order to improve your knowledge on new tools and equipment relating to the job. Here's an example answer. I have extensive knowledge and practical experience in operating a host of laboratory equipment. I generally use automated analyzers for general testing and analysis. I'm also familiar with centrifuges and I use them for sample separation and processing. And when it comes to microscopic analysis and liquid handling, I use optical and specialized microscopes as well as the automated pipettes respectively. Overall, I also make it a point to stay current with the latest advancements in lab technology to ensure my work is constantly accurate and of the highest quality. I do this by regularly participating in training programs and taking certification courses. These programs also help me stay informed about the regulatory requirements and the best practices when it comes to using these equipment. 6. How do you interact with patients when you need to perform a test? This question directly explores the effectiveness of your customer service skills and professionalism as a medical laboratory scientist. Explain how you communicate with the patient to make them feel comfortable enough during the testing process. It is important to note that your answer will demonstrate how much of a fit you are for the organization's culture and professional standards. And so you must emphasize how respectful and professional you are towards the patient. Here's an example answer. My general belief is that professional patient care begins from the moment I greet the patient. And so I do that with a smile in order to create a welcoming atmosphere for them. Doing this helps relieve the patient of any anxiety or discomfort they may feel before the procedure itself starts. I then talk to them through what the procedure entails so they understand what to expect. I also open the floor for any question they might ask and appropriately answer them once they ask. Generally, I maintain a supportive presence throughout the process itself and stay attentive to their needs. My aim is to ensure that the patient is respected and valued. Doing this contributes to better health outcomes and shines a positive light on the healthcare facility as well. 7. Tell us how you maintain a safe lab that meets all the quality and health standards. It is important to adhere to all relevant safety protocols in the lab as a medical laboratory scientist should. Doing so demonstrates your commitment to being a professional and maintaining the standards that define your work. Discuss the safety standards you practice and why they are important to your work as a medical laboratory scientist. Here's an example answer. The first thing I do when I enter the lab is to ensure all the tools and equipment I will be using are properly sterilized. As part of that, I make sure all the surfaces are disinfected to prevent contamination and that all the containers are sterile and ready to be used. The next thing I do is to verify all the equipment to be certain that they are working properly. Additionally, I see to it that all sampling containers and all personal protective equipment are stored in the right places at all times. This primarily prevents contamination and possible mix-ups that can affect the quality of my work. Conclusion Your interviewer will particularly judge you on how well you can demonstrate the accuracy and reliability of your tests as a medical laboratory scientist. But it is also important to showcase your passion and integrity as a professional because it will end up playing a key part in convincing the interviewer of your commitment to the job. Use this video as a preparation guide and you will come out as the selected candidates.